Hey guys, Laura here. Welcome to my channel where I talk about planners, journals, and all things related to planners and journals. Um, tonight we're going to be doing a little plan with me. It's going to be a little bit different just because I'm kind of at this place in my in my life where I just feel like I need like drastic change. And so part of that is I'm going to be transferring, well, planner hopping, I guess, from my Jibon Techo to my Sterling Inc. Common Planner, which I made this cute little uh, cover for. I've talked about that before. And then this I'm going to use as well. Um, because it's a B6 size, I don't have a cover for it. So I have lots of covers for A5, but... For the B6, not so much. So for April, I'm going to be using the Sterling Ink Common Planner. This is the B6 full year. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to do it. And we'll have some nice calm music while I do that. I just figured out that it's hard for me to like do the chat and then also write down and keep track of everything I want to do for the week. So I figured that way it'll be a little easier. But I did want to jump on and just let you know... Um, something I figured out today is, um, it's just been mind blowing. Um, and I've talked about before that I, you know, I have general anxiety disorder and I just figured out that I also have ADHD and it is really mind blowing. The symptoms are like spot on. Um, that's probably one of the reasons why I switch planners all the time and have different journals all the time. And I have different interests that change all the time. And so, of course, now I'm going to research everything I can about that. Um, so, but as far as drastic change is concerned, I do feel like I need that. So, like I said, I do have some sticky notes here that I wanted to remember things that I have to do next week. And then I just wanted to show you my little setup. Well, this is the monthly for April. I'm going to be adding a few more things in here. I made this tip in so okay so what I did was these flowers these little leaves here those are rub-on stickers from the dollar store then I used some washi some gnome garden washi from Tula 12 this is an old from an old sticker sheet that I have from cultivate what matters and then this paper is from Tula 12 along with this card stock and I'm going to tell you what I'm going to use that for but I really love like kind of like the muted colors in this. I tipped this in as one of my drastic changes by the 17th. I want to be done with smoking. I've smoked for a very long time. I have been trying to quit for years. And I just feel like this is the month that it's going to happen. My birthday is actually on the 18th. And so that'll be my birthday present to myself and part of getting my health in order. And so we're starting quarter two in April. So I'm just going for it. And so one of the other big things that I really want to change is my career. And so I'm still working on uh, obtaining my real estate license. So that's going to be a big thing. I want to write more. I have a book that I've been planning out and plotting. So for April, I want to write 5,000 words. I don't want to overwhelm myself, but I definitely want to work on that want to exercise three times per week. And the big one, of course, is to quit smoking. So I thought in here I could like make sure when I write and see when I exercise. Hopefully I'll keep up with that. Sometimes the habit tracking is not so easy for me. Um, but I really do love the way this monthly came out and this little tip in here so I can keep track of how many cigarettes I'm smoking and then kind of like wean myself off. So I'll let you know how that's going in the next video. Okay. And then for my weekly setup, so again, I use the dollar store rub-on sticker here, the garden gnome washi, and I've already started to fill in some things here. Um, I have an ex one of my real estate exams is coming up on April 2nd, so I'm really excited about that. Um, so I have to add some things in here that I want to do this week. And so I just hope you really enjoy the video and, you know, if you have any tips for somebody who just really basically found out they are ADHD, you know, that would be great. But so here we go.